Hi everyone, it's Alina from X and Make Mastery here. Sorry about the lighting, I'm recording late in the day and it's kind of odd in my office, so if I look kind of crazy, that's why. Anyhow, today what we're going to talk about is how to find line items that are similar to ones that you can find in ExactMate, but you maybe can't find the exact right one and you get confused and frustrated. Happened to me this past week, so I just want to show you what I did to quickly find a line item that was related to another one. Uh, for instance, we're going to look at these custom cabinets. I could find some high grade lower cabinets, but they just weren't priced right. So I'm going to show you what I did to find the line item that I need and hopefully that'll help you out in the field. So let's go take a look how to quickly find these line items that are related to other line items. What we're working with today is finding line items that are similar or able to be found by selector code here in Xactimate. So let me show you what we're going to do here. What I was encountering on the estimates that I've been writing is that they have these lower base cabinets that have been flooded by Harvey and they're very high end. This home is probably, you know, in the million dollar range. And this kitchen is quite large and has really awesome cabinets. So what I am used to using is the CAB for the category, select your code LOW for lower base units. And so even if I add the plus plus, it's about $300 per linear foot. We had 38 linear feet. That's $11,000 for the kitchen. Sounds good, but this kitchen is like custom, high-end, amazing kitchen. So, and I don't deal with those very often, so I don't know those category and selector codes uh, specifically. So what I do when I don't know or can't find something that I'm looking for is I usually know the category. I know it's going to be in cabinetry. It's not going to be in finished carpentry or paint or something like that. It's going to be in the category CAB for cabinetry, but the selector code is what I'm unsure about. So I drop down the list here, and I think a lot of people spend a lot of time searching for line items up here in your quick search when you could be using the selector code search, and you might find things faster and easier. So let me just show you how this works. I drop down the list right next to selector code, and I just start to browse, and I'm looking for something that's custom. So I just start to read through here and look for things, and aha, it is under custom cabinets. Base units right there, probably premium grade. That is how high end this kitchen is. So I can browse through my selector codes and find what I need most times. And I don't know if you guys have ever noticed this, but Xactimate has some interesting terminology for labor materials. When I got into using Xactimate, I called sheetrock sheetrock. Well, you're not going to find sheetrock in here. That's a brand name. I called it a jacuzzi tub. There's another brand name, so drywall, jetted tub, knowing the very specific way that Xactimate names their labor materials, it's almost regional. It's like someone saying Coke and pop, you know? It depends on where you come from in the country. So by dropping down the selector code and exploring these line items, you'll find that you're going to find a lot of line items, um, especially in custom situations that are very useful. So I'm going to use this premium grade line item, and yeah, that kitchen, that kitchen was definitely probably around 23000 and that looks really good. The other thing I was having trouble finding, and I don't know what's going on with Xactimate this week, but man, I am having glitch after glitch. I couldn't find pedestal sink up here in my quick search. I have no idea what was going on. But when I entered my category and then dropped down the selector code box, I was able to type P here and go ahead and just start to look through and see if... I and it brought it up here. I don't know why it will search here by keyword, but I could not find it over here. So just some workarounds if you're having a glitch or if you know the category uh, but may not know the selector code, you can search, you know, start maybe with uh, uh, the first letter of the word and try to find the nomenclature that Xactimate's trying to use here for the line item. And it may help you with some of these, these higher end line items or even something as simple as a pedestal sink there. I was able to find it. So that's the big takeaway, guys. We want to go ahead and utilize our drop down here for the selector code. I always find new line items this way that I wasn't acquainted with prior. I've always found something new by searching in here whenever I have a question and uh, just scrolling up and down. Sometimes I'll find some really cool line items. So this has been Alina Wilson with Exclamate Mastery. If you like this kind of quick topic, let me know. I have a lot of these little tiny tips and tricks up my sleeve. So let me know if you like this topic. Go ahead and like the video. Also subscribe to this channel. We release new videos every week. 
And check out our website at www.xmatemastery.com. We train contractors how to use Xactimate. Have an exciting new download over there on our new website that we just launched. So check out that top commonly missed line items download. If you go to our new website, you get that PDF for free by filling out the form. So check that out. Hope you guys have a great week in your business, and I will talk to you next week.